The Archbishop of Canterbury said that he is having nightmares ahead of King Charles' coronation. Justin Welby will become the first Archbishop in 70 years to crown the monarch. As the event will be watched by millions, the Archbishop of Canterbury spoke about his feeling ahead of the symbolic religious event. Speaking to Channel 4 News, the 66-year-old said that he has been dreaming about accidentally leaving the crown at his official London residence Lambeth Palace. He said, it's giving me nightmares already. I dreamt we got to the point and it left the crown at Lambeth Palace. It's obviously weighing on me quite a lot. But it's just an enormous honor and privilege to do that, and the coronation weekend is going to be a time of bringing the country together. The coronation is expected to be shorter than the late Queen's, with fewer attendees, better reflecting the modern monarchy. It has been reported that the King rejected the idea of a cut-price coronation and wishes to use the event to showcase UK PLC. The ceremonial elements and religious traditions will remain, with the service expected to run between one and two hours rather than three. King Charles will be anointed with holy oil, receive the orb, coronation ring and scepter, and be crowned with St. Edward's crown, which was made for Charles II in 1661. It is thought likely to be attended by around 2,000 people, rather than the 8,000 who crammed into the Abbey in 1953, four times its normal capacity. Queen Elizabeth II was crowned by Geoffrey Francis Fisher in 1953, who served as the Archbishop of Canterbury for 16 years from 1945. Earlier this week, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak described the coronation as a unique moment for the country, as the cabinet discussed the chance to showcase the very best of the United Kingdom. The coronation is being organized by the Earl Marshal, the Duke of Norfolk, who arranged the late Queen's funeral.